Good day and welcome back to the channel. If you're looking for how to copy models into multiples at once in Rotodex Revit, this is the right video for you. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the array tool in Revit both for linear and concentric arrays. So if you haven't done so, make this the video you finally subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified when we release new content because we do that on a weekly basis. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the main content of this video. Alright, so as you can see, we're in Autodex Revit and we want to array this model now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the plan. So once we're in the plan view, it's always important to note that before arraying an extrusion, you we'll click on it, edit in place. Then once you click on the extrusion, you make sure you click on this kind of padlock icon here just so it will not be constrained and we are going to, going to click finish. So once you click on it, you are now free to array as much as you want. So we are going to select these two models and we are going to go to this array tab here. So once we've clicked on this array tab, automatically once you click on array and you use the array, it will group the models you array together. So we're going to start from this linear array, which is this icon here. We're going to click on it. So there are two ways to start array. You can start by last or you can start by second. By last means that you are going to set a distance. I are going to determine the number of models that will repeat itself in that distance. So let's go start from last. And we're going to click on this last icon. We're going to click on a center point. You can click on the edge. You can click on the center point. You can click on this other edge as your starting point for this array. So let's use the uh, central point. So we're going to click on it and we're going to set a distance of 9 meters. So I'm going to type 9000. So now it's going to give us the option to put how many repetitions we want to be in this 9 meters. So I'm going to put it as 9. Then as you can see, it has arrayed into 9 models and the thing has already automatically grouped the extrusion and the sweep I used, I selected together. So now I'm just going to delete all of them and we're going to start again and use another, to try another method. So I'm going to click on this model, I'm going to click on array. So instead of last, I'm going to click on second. So once I click on second, I'm just going to check on it. So what this second means is that once I click on this reference point like I did before and I click on a point, a particular distance, it means that it will repeat the array by the distance I set it as. Let me just show you. So let's say I select one meter. So I'm go it's going to give me the option to impute the number I want to repeat at intervals of one meter. So I'm just going to click on 10. So as you can see, this is going to repeat the models at intervals of 1000. These 10 models at intervals of 1000. But unlike the other one, once I set a distance, if I set any number, it's going to enter within that distance I set. So it's important you get the difference. So I'm going to delete all this once again. Then I'm going to click on this model. Then I'm going to click on array again. Now I want to show you guys how to use the radial array. But hold on first. Before we use the radial array, it's also very important you know that it's always good to draw some reference points before using the radial array. What do I mean? You are going to go to annotate, we are going to go to detail line. Then on that detail line, we are going to click on this line here and we are going to draw a line from this point here to about let's say 3 meters. So now we have done that, we are just going to click on detail line again. We are going to click on circle 2 and we are going to draw a circle starting from this point. So I'm just going to click on this group model. I'm going to click on array. Then I'm just going to click on radial. So under this radial, I could either choose the last or second method as I showed you before. So I'm going to start from last, move to last. Then I'm just going to click on this center point. I'm going to click on this focal point of this circle. Then I'm going to click on a reference point where I want it to copy from. Then I'm going to click on it and I'm going to set the end point at let's say 270 degrees or let me use 180 degrees then i'm just going to set the number i want it to repeat under this 180 degrees i set as the last distance let's say 12. it takes some time depending on so as you can see it has arrayed perfectly under this 12. you can see how it's arrayed in this concentric man so we're going to use the other method to array the rest of this side that is this other one so we're going to click on this we're going to click on array so instead of last we're going to click on second what this second means is that we're just going to click on this center point we're going to click on this focal point we're going to click on this edge here then we're going to try and array it per a given angle so we're, let's just say we set it at 10 degrees so now we are going to impute the number we want to repeat at this 10 degrees interval so we're going to set it as um, let's say 12. So as you can see, you can see the difference between this. I could even extend the distance by just dragging this line here to somewhere here. 
and you see that it will just extend without it increasing the number automatically it has increased the angle between all of them so this is how the basic tools of how to array in autodex Revit. so if you can see the 3d you can see how this array so it's very simple and you can use it while modeling especially if you are modeling big projects and you don't want to start copying it one after the other so that is the end of this video if this video was helpful don't forget to give us a like subscribe to this channel for more content like this also hit the notification bell to get notified when we release new videos thank you very much and have a wonderful day